Borrow Smart, brought to you by rsrhomeselect.com, rsrhomeselect.com. Credit card sign-up bonuses, do's and don'ts. If you're scrolling online, an attractive credit card offer pops up on your screen. Maybe it's off, it's an, it's offering a too-good-to-pass-up sign-up bonus where you get a handful of free night stays at a luxury hotel or a robust bonus for travel. Sound familiar? Credit card sign-up offers, also known as welcome bonus, are designed to get you to open an account and make purchases on a card. If a credit card offer with a generous sign-up bonus has caught your eye, there are some things to keep in mind so you won't find yourself in a financial quagmire. Here we've rounded up a list of do's and don'ts to keep you spending responsibly and maintain solid credit. Do. Check all the details of the sign-up bonus. Besides the main details of the sign-up bonus, like a 140,000 bonus points if you spend $4,000 in the first three months of opening your account, figure out what else the bonus can get you. Scooping up the bonus points is the first part, and second part is about what to do with those bonus points and how to get the most value. What can you spend those points on? Are the things you can spend the points on valuable to you? Another example, if there's a hotel loyalty card, will you get a higher redemption value if you use those points toward hotel stays, or if it's a promo bonus for a travel card, what travel portals will you get a higher redemption value and what transfer partners are best? Don't choose a card solely for the sign-up bonus. Sometimes you get so enticed by the sign-up offer that you might fail to figure out whether the card fits you. Make sure the card is a good fit for, your out, for you outside the sign-up bonus. Some aspects to consider to decide whether it's a sound credit card for your needs and situation. Annual percentage rate, late fees, cash advances, over card limit fees, annual fees. How many points you would earn on everyday purchases in specific categories like 3X on the grocery stores and discount points, 1X on points and everything else. Perks and other benefits, i.e. Trip, trip interruption insurance, car rental insurance, purchase protection, extended manufacturer's warranty. Ask yourself, is this a valuable card outside the sign-up bonus? Will I be using it regularly or perhaps for specific purchases? Do sync signing up for a card with a big ticket purchase. As mentioned, credit up promo offers are created partly to get you to get into the habit of putting purchases on the card. However, it's a slippery slope as you might unknowingly make unnecessary purchases. To prevent this from happening, sign up for the bonus with a planned big ticket purchase. Notice I said planned big ticket purchase, not just a whim. For instance, you might have tax payments, a big home improvement project, or a semi-annual auto insurance or homeowner's insurance bill on the horizon. If you use your new credit card to pay for something essential, you can scoop up that sign-up bonus with a single purchase. Plus, you won't be spending nilly-willy and suffer a case of regrets not to mention a large credit card balance. Do put essential purchases on your card. Remember ccpayment.com. We've told you how to do this. CCP, RSR, ccpayment.com. Another way you can make sure you spend enough on your card to get the bonus points is by putting essential everyday purchases on your card. For example, you need to spend $4,000 within the first three months of opening your account to get the sign-up bonuses, and you have $3,000 quarterly estimated tax payment within that three-month window. And if you use your new credit card to fill up at the gas station, pay for groceries and household items, and spend at least $1,000 over three months, you should be able to snag the sign-up bonus. Remember, you might want to stop making these purchases after you've met the threshold to get the bonus. That way you don't fall into the danger of getting into the habit of putting all your everyday purchases only to discover you've been spending too much. Remember, rsrccpayment.com. Don't spiral into debt over a sign-up bonus. When racking up a balance on your card, the key is ensuring you can handle the repayments. While making the minimum payment may prevent you from damaging your credit, stretching out payments means paying more interest fees. Plus, you'll need to be juggling additional debt. If possible, have those large ticket purchases saved up beforehand. That way you can pay the balance in full. Alternatively, Create a play payoff plan. Make sure you can reasonably afford the monthly payments and aim to knock off your debt within a, within a given time frame. Otherwise, 
you might find yourself falling behind on your payments. Do be mindful. That's a biggie. Do be mindful about how to manage multiple credit cards. Opening another credit card requires extra card management, no matter how many cards you have. To help you manage all your credit cards, you should consider setting a budget, scheduling payment reminders, setting spending alerts, and making sure you're staying on track with your credit goals. Bottom line, before hopping on the card sign-up bonus train, you should review and understand the offered details to ensure it's the right card for you and have a plan in place to make sure you can reasonably pay off the amount of spending required for the bonus. That is a Borrow Smart segment brought to you by rsrhomeselect.com, rsrhomeselect.com.